this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up your Canon DSLR camera to work with the Social Photo Booth program. The first thing you want to do is change your mode dial to M here. Um, I actually take a hot glue gun or some tape and tape this down so it doesn't move by accident. Next thing, you usually want your lens in the widest setting, which is 18 millimeters. And then you want to take and press your shutter halfway down um, and get this to autofocus where your, where your subject is, about three or four feet away. And then you want to tape around this lens ring so it doesn't move. And then you want to change the autofocus switch on the side to manual focus so that the camera doesn't try to move your tape that you put over that. Image stabilization, you can basically much turn it off because you're always going to be mounted on some kind of photo booth structure. On the back, you want to go ahead and press the menu button. And you're going to find that there is a menu that pops up. You want to set the quality to something pretty small, um, either S1 or um, S2 is what I recommend. S2 is only about 1 megapixel, and S1, I think, is about 3.4 megapixels. That's all you really need, folks. You don't need to go and get, you know, a 12 or 18 megapixel shot. Um, it's really not going to show up on these small pictures anyways. So let's go ahead, and I am going to uh, change this to the S2 and hit the set button here. Next, I'm going to go over and disable the camera from turning off automatically. So this first wrench, the auto power off, instead of being 15 minutes, I'm going to set that to off so that it never powers the camera off automatically. Okay, so those are the basic settings there, but you also need to set the exposure on this. Okay, so to do that, um, you hit the display button here, right there. And usually you want the shutter speed around 100 to 200, okay? Anywhere in that range is fine. If you want it to be a little bit brighter, make it a sh slower shutter speed. You press this AV button here, and you turn this top dial right here to change the aperture, okay? Your aperture can be anywhere from about 8 to 11. Um, and then your last setting over here, if you use, oops, if you use, if you hit this ISO button right here, this will allow you to change your ISO. I recommend 800 or 1600. That's a pretty good setting right there to start off with. You can always make it brighter or darker as needed. Um, and then um, typically you want to have this flash in the down position. And you're going to use an external hot shoe flash in the camera. Those are the most important settings to get your camera up and running. If you have any questions, please let me know. I'll be glad to help you.